loaded. Now, anything else to load in this no. method area? No, sir. No? No. Okay. Now, the next task that needs to be done is that all the static members should be loaded where? Inside the class static area. So, I don't have any static variables. So, what will I do? I'll just load the static method that is present. That is my main method. Main method. Method signature. Reference. And reference. Yes, so main and the reference is 0x1. So, can I tell that all the static members got loaded? Yes. Now, what should happen? If there is any static initializer in there is present in my program that will execute right before the actual execution of the program. So, am I having any static initializer present in this program? Yes or no? No. No, I no. don't have any static initializer present. So, now the actual execution of the program will start from where? From the main, main method. method. Main method. Yes, so for the main method, what is happening indirectly it is being pointed from this the address is being taken and it is this method will start executing yes we'll so the main frame. method will start executing how a frame is created by zero. The and the main method starts executing so now whatever is there inside main method will start executing so what is there an object is getting created in this statement created. so what is that is that new of student so student type of object keyword what will happen a block will be created by a reference that is 0x2. 0x2. A block is created. Now, what is happening? The student constructor is getting called. Yes? Yes. So, the student constructor is getting called. So, I am I have a student constructor present in my program only, right? <coughs> yes, guys. Yes, so, sir. I have a student constructor present in my program. So I'm calling this constructor. So because of this, if I'm calling the constructor, what will happen is that a frame will be created for the constructor. F1. And the three tasks of the constructor will be done. That is load. Loading. It will load the non-static members. That is, uh, sorry, name by its default value. That is null. And ID by its default value that is zero. zero. Now I have, am I having any non static method or non static initializer present? No, I don't have. No, so sir. only this much will get loaded. So I can tell that the loading process is done. Now what next? Execute the Execution. non static initializers. So am I having any non static initializer? No, it is not there. Now Program what written instruction. Program programmer written, written instructions. I am I having any programmer written instructions to execute? No. Yes, I have. Yes, yes guys. I yes, have. we have. <laughs> the constructor. I have the no argument constructor. <laughs> no. Yes. So it will print no argumented constructor. Yes, in the output it got printed. Now can I tell that uh, all the tasks of the constructor is done? Yes, so it will be removed. So what will happen is that the frame for the constructor will be removed. Now what is happening? The new keyword will return the reference. This reference will be returned and stored where? Inside this S. Yes, this reference yes, got sir. stored here. So in as the statement is inside my main method only. Main method. So what will happen? Over here a variable is created and inside this the reference got stored. That is 0x2. Okay. This is just for your idea guys I am telling. Okay. Yes, so this S is having the reference that is 0x2. Now, what I'm doing, what is there in the next line of the main method is that S.name. Initialization is done. You know, the variable, how am I accessing? I'm accessing the non-static variable with the help of the object reference, right? So what is there present inside this S? 0x2 is there. So, with the help of this reference, I'm accessing the non static variable which is present over here. Yes or no, guys? Yes. S dot name. So, I'm yes, accessing sir. this particular non static variable and I'm, I'm initializing the value that is ABC to that particular non static variable. Yes. So, what happens over here is that the value is getting initialized by ABC. Yes. Now, I can yes. tell the execution of this line is done. Now, control comes to this and again what I am doing with the help of the object reference s.id, I am initializing the particular id that is 10. So, this non-static variable that is present inside this address that will get updated to what 10. Yes 
all yes. the statements the execution is done now what is there at the last i just have a print statement at the end okay ha huh. so i just have a print statement so what will it do it will print with the help of this statement i'm just printing what will i get i'll get name in the place of name what will i get if. okay so uh, there'll be a, there'll be a colon that's all so for name what will i get a, s dot name abc abc so with the help of this reference again i'm accessing i'm getting this abc name mm -hmm. is equals to abc what next id, ID. so all of that will come in the same line guys okay id Ten. is equals to how much 10 10 so this is the output that i'll get in the console now do i have any other statement in the main method no no, no i don't have so what will i do i can tell the entire execution of my program is done so i'll remove okay. the frame of the main method and now i can tell the entire class loading and the object loading process is completed yes guys yes, yes sir. sir understood okay any doubts guys anyone having any doubts also uh one thing can you just so within the program with the compiler flow like after a string where it will go with the flow i mean just with a sketch pane in the program i don't want this box and all uh, memory you don't know what this box and all yeah i don't want the memory flow i just want to know the compiler flow how the compiler will go within this program with the pane just normal what will the compiler do i mean how the compiler will flow within this program let's say i'm your good friend and just give me the over, overview of this program that's it i don't want all this memory flow that uh, it will create and all not just the, you can use it for memory flow no, this no. is the entire execution what is happening in the behind guys okay sir give yeah. us one assignment uh, sir give us one assignment in which we have to write from first to end about the class and object loading process sir. then we will all understand sir okay fine uh, the assignment should be given to us in which we will write about uh, the entire process from first step to last step with the help of okay. one example sir in which you have considered okay fine i will do that okay yes just okay so guys you all want the assignment now yes just a second guys you all do the tracing for this this program only this employee okay yes guys do the tracing for this particular program only now starting from the first line of the class loading and ending at the object loading last line guys okay just do the tracing for this particular program only in your notebook guys i'm telling you to do it in your notebook and compare it with the output that you are getting so in the notebook what output you are getting based on that you check you compile it and see whether you are able to write this program on your system or not okay yes guys this program is fine this program is only having all the methods and everything right so uh, if you want i'll make some changes to this program also i'll add few few more things yes Find the output, sir, or total execution. The total execution with the flow, with the output, everything. After tracing the program, you will get one output. But apart from that output, also I want you all to write the steps also, so that you can remember and keep it as a note for yourself. Okay, and uh, then after that, check with the class loading and the object loading steps. The entire you have you have the entire loading process, right? so yes, just do it okay